Hi, I'm at the water cube with uh, John. Uh, John, could you put up your badge, please, for me? Yeah, sure. So I can just zoom in on that. So, John, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell a little bit about why you're here in Stockholm this week. All right, my name's John Fury. Um, I, I'm at Columbia University in the city of New York. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> my, my PhD research is on the transmission of microbial pathogens from surface water to groundwater. And uh, specifically, I do my field work in Bangladesh, where um, we found between 30 and 70 percent of the wells that people are drinking from every day are contaminated, yeah. at least with E. coli, once, once a year. So um, in, in our sampling, we, we've been trying to figure out... Just for the non-scientific people, E. coli? Yeah, so E. coli is an indicator organism, and what that means is that it's, it's present in sewage, and so if there's a leakage of sewage somewhere onto the ground or, you know into water, then E. coli will be present, okay. and that can be indicated, you know, for something worse also that would make you sick. Okay. Uh, oh, please continue. Yeah, yeah so, so E. coli um, is, is, you know, used as, as a tool to figure out where human, you know, waste is contaminating mm -hmm. the drinking water. So um, we're trying to figure out where are the pathways that this happens, you know, is it, is it that literally you know, the easiest way is if it's just infiltrating from the surface through the sand, you know, that, that's below the surface to the well. Um, but my research has kind of shown that that's probably not the most likely pathway. That more, more, more than likely there's other problems such as bad construction of wells, um, you know, some, some other kinds of, um, mm -hmm. you know, problems with, you know, underground pathways that are more direct from surface to, to, to well. So those kind of things are probably more important than you know just trying to have some set distance between a latrine, let's say, where people are going to the bathroom and where yeah. they get their water. So we're trying to figure out you know what what's the best best way to predict whether a well will be contaminated or not. Okay. And so you're here with a uh, with a poster kind of session thing. I'm not sure well, how does that work. I mean. Yeah, uh, I had a poster in the poster session, and yeah. uh, it's part of the groundwater. Um, track that, that we, we had a workshop the other day. Okay, how'd it go? That was great. There was a lot of uh, really interesting, innovative ideas on how to, to be cleaning up groundwater and, and, and also how to, to do better at monitoring. Yeah. So it's been a really interesting week. Okay, well, great. It, yeah, just, I mean, your passion for water, because, <laughs> I mean, how'd you get into this sector? Well, it's kind of a long story, but um, before this, I worked for <coughs> NASA, the space agency in the United States. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> at... What I did there was monitoring the water quality for astronauts in space, oh. as, you know, while they were yeah, on yeah, the space yeah. station. So I, 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 had a, I had a feeling like, you know, this was really great and I was helping, you know, a few people and I was helping our country and our objectives, but I really felt like the knowledge that I had could be more useful in helping a lot more people, you know, here on Earth that have the same kind of problems where you have a limited amount of space where you live mm -hmm. and you live close, you know, your, your, your bathroom is really close to your kitchen, which is close to your water source. Yeah. It's the same thing in space. Exactly. So, so we had the same kind of problems and I was hoping that I would be able to find some solutions that were yeah. a little innovative from, you know, from my past experience. Wow, well that's great to have someone from a NASA <laughs> into the war sector. I just hope you hope can, so. uh, it works out and you can, uh, Especially because these are serious issues when uh, decontaminated, decontaminated groundwater. I mean, it's uh, you know tough stuff. So good luck with all of that. All right. Thanks for the interview. Thanks a lot.